Season 5 of Rick and Morty saw Rick truly grow near the end of the season, and even almost entirely ditching the Rick and Morty mantra for crows. Turns out they're more enlightened than any of us. But that doesn't make him any less of the Rickest Rick and nihilistically hilarious. So here are the Rickest Rick moments of Season 5 of Rick and Morty. Truly, nobody cares about your d Morty. The sooner you learn that, the better. I think you just don't want me happy because then I'll stop doing your crazy chores. Trust me, after that ocean f up, you don't get to do anything crazy. Do not keep Nimbus waiting. Be right out. God damn it, do you see this whisper kitchen Fraser bull you're making me do? Morty, just get the wine. Beth and Jerry, stop trying to f Nimbus. Make us slightly more wet. Am I a joke to you? Yes, you are a f***ing joke. You've always sucked. You, you, you know why we haven't fought in years? Because you're an embarrassment to me and I don't need you anymore. All I do is eat ass and 69 Nintendos, bro, every day. A lot of people out there want a piece of this, sweetie. I'm cool and it makes them feel bad. So, you know, after that trouble with Space Beth, I made passable copies of the family and placed them around the country as a buffer zone to protect- but Why does he always want to be hunted? Jerry. It's not important right now, Dad. Yes, I made some decoys. They're exactly like us with a few tweaks and a backdoor shutdown. Do you just get hard creating sentient life? Actually, I get hard protecting my family. Ugh, Ew. gross. How do you know we're not decoys? My, my final secret fail safe. It, it proves I'm real. You have to help me. I, I, I'd never joke about this. Gross! Dad. Ah, Summer, you f idiot. We're not decoys. Why, why did I get punished? A, decoys don't build decoys. And B, you think the mere suggestion I'm fake would break me? Christ, I'm not your mom. When squid started killing decoys, decoys started checking their decoys and learning that they're making decoys. That's making them seek out and run into other decoys. Say decoy again. You. Oh, sh one of mine. Where are we going? Off grid, Morty. We're gonna live in the woods like libertarians. We'll hunt rabbits and trade with like little pieces of gold bar that we cut off with a knife. That licks. We might be decoys, Summer. Everything about this licks. Oh, maybe. Well, I'm real. I'm the smartest man in the universe. Probably not even wrong, but that's just it. I'm not a man. I'm God. You're just made in my image. You. You the uh, Summer I came with? Probably. Good enough. Love. Love. All right, time to set the rules. Lay it on me. No whining. Done. No crying. As if. And absolutely, positively, no getting attached. We're here to smash Max's ass. Quantity over quality. Deal? Deal. You broke the rules! Squares follow rules, Summer. Daphne's down to freak. She's up for any <coughs> sick, nasty thing I want to do. Hello. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Mm. Sorry I messed things up with Daphne. Just shut up. I get it. Really? You're not mad? I'm furious. Guess I should test it and make sure it's... Make sure it's what? Horse semen, obviously. Okay, but it says it is right on the barrel. You're not being very scientific, Morty. Measure twice, cut once, especially with semen. You even Chupacabras, Yeti, Stonehenge, Ancient Rome. Are these all myths, monsters, legends, or different names for sperm from outer space? The sperm made a catapult? Uh, are they getting smarter? No, you're getting dumber because that's a trebuchet. Nobody knows the difference. Ray, you nasty, lying, little world-ending pervert. I I'm sorry. <laughs> what was it like? Fantastic. I always knew your hormones would cause a world war between humans and cannibalistic horse people. I just didn't know it would be like this. I can't change my nature. What are you, a scorpion in a Navajo fable? Everyone can change their nature, Morty. It's what defines our species. I love you. Prove it. Oh, I love kissing those big old horse teeth. It's like licking tile. It's time. Oh, sh oh sh it's time. Oh my God, it's wonderful. <laughs> Oh, wow, so we don't have to, you know, r raise it? Nah, they're ready to go right out of the box. Cool, cool. Summer, he said no. Nuh-uh-uh, nuh, -uh -uh. nuh -uh -uh. I, I said, said don't touch my sh Also, I just watched Jurassic Park on cable. So good, seriously, though. Touch my sh and I'll freeze your dick in amber. Oh, the pain of being rejected from hell. Oh, it's painful, so I love it. Thank you. Oh, such pleasure. I didn't mean to cause you any pleasure. Thrill me by keeping me out, coat hanger face. Wow. Dad, what is that? An aversion converting inversion reverter. It shoots concentrated pleasure pain inverting shrapnel, which reverts the pleasure from pain back into the pain from pain. Morty, are you gonna be a fucking American nerd or are you gonna be cool and steal the constitution with grandpa? Here, hold this while I crack the hermetic seal. W why not just use this again? Morty, you just destroyed the map and activated the giant assassin hidden in the Statue of Liberty. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, what? It was a Trojan horse, Morty. Never trust the French. Way to go. And on America's birthday, or whatever the f Thanksgiving is. You anti-American piece of 
you terrorist. You know, you use that word so much, it's lost all meaning, Mr. P. It's like, at this point, what's a terrorist? It's a guy you don't like. Big deal. Just pardon me, dick. Why the hell would I? Oh, I don't know, because if I move to Canada, they'll be the best country. I'll peck your goddamn eyes out. You just killed FDR. He was a monster, though. Don't mythologize him. He was a politician. Why don't we just blow it up? It's a national monument. Not, we just got pardoned. You really want to do this again next year? Boob World's been at the center of a few protests every day for 30 years, so they've recently rebranded as a boob empowerment experience, and if we bring a female, we get in for free. So I'm like, what, a Coke can you're taking to Six Flags? No, because once you get into Six Flags, you can throw your Coke can away. Say hello to my little me. Give up, old man. Oh, excellent. I get to keep my clothes. I thought for sure I'd have to be naked to go through something this artsy. Oh, man, no fair. I'm coming with. Now that I know my life is a lie. Wow, you really are 35. Hey, look over there. Young memory Rick and his all too real cautionary tale from the future. Let's catch ourselves a bird guy. Who would high five that, you idealistic hipster douche? Buddy, this is not a safe way to work on yourself. At this point, I'd support you joining Scientology. I'll take the workshops with you. I'll get in a sauna with Travolta. I don't even care what happens. Your life isn't real and I didn't save it. Take off all your clothes. I knew this was how I'd die. Where's that go? Ugh, that's the Battle of Blood Ridge. That's our Vietnam. Your values are wrong. It's not a complicated transaction, my man. Would you like to join me doing awesome that matters? No, I would not. I would rather be a judgmental dork. Case closed. Come on, man. I, I feel ridiculous. Thank you for not giving up on me. Great. You can pay me back literally right now. It's, 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 it's not what it looks like. It looks like you've propagated yourself from BP subconscious to mine to try to live as a sentient memory. Fair enough. You don't have to be an enemy just because you exist. Behold, my wheel of better things than Morty. Well, what are you, eight? Is this macaroni art? You expect me to believe you built this because you don't care? No, I built this because I don't expect from you. Come on, anything. Anything but Morty. St 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 stop. Okay, that's it. Two crows. You're fired. You know what, eat? You're just trying to make me feel worthless. I never said you're worthless. In fact, I've given you a very clear metric of your worth. Two crows. Oh, now I see. Real treasure is empathy. And that's worth way more than any knick-knack. You guys just earned yourself another adventure. The adventure is you're fired. Sorry, guys. If I wanted another bleeding heart, I'd inject reanimator serum into an actual bleeding heart. <laughs> My god, I, I get it now. We are going to shove this crow down Morty's throat. I, I did it because you hurt my feelings when, when you chose the two crows. Jesus, it was a bit. I'm getting my ass kicked by this dumb fucking crow story. It's all gone tits up. Huh, okay. I, I miss you, man. Oh, oh God, God damn it. Might have been a bit too frank there. I think we're done. But because I spilled the portal fluid and didn't tell you? No, Morty, because you were too afraid to tell me. What we had was abusive, don't you see? I'm a bad partner because I never made you a true partner. So I need to leave with the crows and see what more they can teach me. Oh. Oh. Here. I want you to have this. <clears throat> I'm looking for Crow Scare. The Scarecrow? The evil Scarecrow? Come on. Whoever gives him up first lives. Fine, I can kill an extra asshole. Helps me get my steps in. When are you gonna kill their big bad? First off, the will they kill they is everything to my guys. And second, you for trying to undermine my happiness. This may be the last time you ever lay eyes on me. I hope that's not true, Morty. You look like sh <coughs> and this is not how I want to remember you. What do you mean using me as a rebound? I feel like I was using you as a rebound too? Well, this lost all meaning. At least adventuring was just a metaphor for romantic partnership, so it's not a real breakup. Speak for yourself. We immensely enjoy each other's bodies. What? Oh, I don't know. It tastes pretty good. Okay, let me know if you start feeling poisony. Good to have you back, buddy. So did you help build the Citadel? Did you just lie to me about everything? Can't you just sneak through the cave base? We turned a new leaf, Morty. We're back to simple adventures. It's not a new leaf until you tell me everything. Morty, we really don't have time for this. The whole place is gonna blow. No, I don't trust you. I, I don't want to do this anymore if I'm not gonna get straight answers from you. God damn it. Here's my fucking downloaded brain, Morty. You want to jump the shark? You want to know my stupid crybaby backstory? Knock yourself out. Not, not now. Don't worry, Morty. We still got a way out they never thought of. Operation Phoenix. Doesn't that still mean, like, death? Sure, but the joke's on them because we just found a back door to getting off this rock. From where I sit, Morty, that's the best deal on the table. I don't have a real plan. <gasps> Thanks, pal. I'm, I'm glad you ignored my advice. It's just as well. I lied. That second seat's a toilet. Kind of cool to admit it. Jeez, you guys really are bred for forgiveness. Let's go. Those were just some of our favorite Rick moments of season five, but were there any we missed? Let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.